Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that you guys have all been waiting for, and that is going to be a swatch video on all of my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I am so excited about this. Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipsticks are my all-time favorite lipstick brand of all time. Like, hands down, one's falling. <laughs> hands down, absolutely love Jeffree Star. I've been a fan of Jeffree Star ever since I was about 13 and I bought um, Lollipop Luxury um, back in Hot Topic years ago and I just fell in love with him. I have a Jeffree Star Beauty Killer tattoo on my shoulder. I just love Jeffree Star. His music is amazing and when I found out he was coming out with a liquid lipstick line, I about shit my pants because Mm, I love Jeffree Star. He is pure genius. I have full respect for him. So today I'm going to be swatching all of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. My lips are already screaming at me. They're going to kill me, but it's okay. We're going to get through this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight. Technically seven because I have two of the same one. So I'm going to be swatching seven of them, but I do own eight. I do own two of the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skins. Uh, this one is the old formula, and then this is Celebrity Skin 2.0, and they kind of revamped it. But I am only just going to be swatching that one time because they are, in fact, the same color. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to start from the lightest and obviously go to the darkest. I do own quite a bit of the nudes just because I am a huge nudes person. I really just what I'm into. The very first one that I'm going to be swatching is this one right here and this is I'm Nude by Jeffree Star Cosmetics obviously and the packaging just looks like this. I'm not going to be doing this with every single one but I just wanted just to zoom you in on the packaging just to show you what it looks like up close. So obviously it just says Jeffree Star Cosmetics right there and then it has like the little stars with the two J's right there. So that's what all of his packaging looks like. Um, each of these lipsticks go for about $18 on the website and then for United States shipping I believe it is $5.95 so yeah that's just kind of a little bit of information on that so this one is just your literal concealer white nude liquid lipstick it's very very pink toned and it's very nude and I absolutely love this one because I used to rock the nude lips back in the day I used to put like a stick of concealer on my lips with lip gloss over top of it I was just a huge fan so this is the first one I'm gonna be swatching for you guys today and just so you know, I have to line my lips with every single color. I don't know why, it's just something I have to do, otherwise liquid lipstick would be all over the place. I'm not the best swatcher, but that's why they have lip liners, so this is going to help me, trust me. Okay, so here's what I'm Nude looks like swatch on the lips. Obviously, it is a very, very nude color. This color is not for everyone, but for me personally, I love this type of nude color. I don't wear this, this nude of a lip that often anymore, but when I'm definitely feeling that kind of nostalgic, like, nude lip look that I used to wear all the time, I definitely go for this one. The next color that I'm going to be swatching for you guys today is the next nude up, and that is this one. This one is called Celebrity Skin. This was actually the very first Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick that I bought, because when I saw he was coming out with this color nude, this is like my all-time favorite color of lipstick to wear, I about died, and as soon as it came out, I bought it immediately. I actually think me and my sister did a first impressions on these, which I will have that video linked up in the corner. But yes, this one is called Celebrity Skin, and it's just kind of like your brownish pink nude. It's a little bit darker than I nude as you can see here and this one is one of my all-time favorites I absolutely love celebrity skin I went like a good two months only wearing this and this is actually the very first one that I bought but it is almost empty so I do own two of them now this one is the old formula and then this one is the new revamped formula and the difference I noticed between these two is the new formula is way more liquidy and also it has a very distinct very different smell like it smells I don't know how to describe it like but there is a scent to it and it's quite strong but when you put it on your lips and it after it dries matte you don't smell it anymore but that's just a difference I've noticed between the old formula and the 2.0 
I just love this one so much. It is so neutral and this would look good on a majority of skin tones in my opinion um, because it's not too nude but it's not too dark, you know what I mean? So it's just a very, very flattering color. The next color that I'm going to be swatching is again one of my all-time favorites and this color you either are going to love it or you're going to hate it I feel like and this one is in the color Posh Spice. This is one of his newest ones added to the collection and oh my gosh it is amazing. It's very similar to Celebrity Skin. The only difference this one has more of a gray base to it so it kind of gives you that kind of grayish brown nude look and it is just amazing. I love this color so much. I remember when they were doing a restock day of this, I literally was on my phone at work, refresh, 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 like two hours early just in case, and then when it finally came up, I was like, add to cart. Oh, I was so excited when I got it. It's one of my all-time favorites. Okay, and then this is what Posh Spice looks like on the lips. So as you can see, we are getting into more of like the color and the more dramatic of the liquid lipsticks. But this one, as you can obviously tell, there is more of a gray base to it. And it's kind of like that grayish. And every time I wear this in a video, I get a ton of questions as to what liquid lipstick it is. And it is always Posh Spice. Alright, so we only have four more colors to swatch and now we're going to be getting into more of like the colors and the pinks and the dramatic colors and the browns and the reds. Super excited to show you guys those. So those were all of the nudes that I had. So the next color that I'm going to be moving on to is one that you guys have seen a lot. And that is this one right here, which is part of his 2015 holiday collection. And this is Androgyny. And another cool thing about this one is it was going to be just limited edition and once it was gone, it was gone. But so many people demanded this color that he is now going to be making this color a permanent part of his collection coming in 2016. So if you see this color and you like it, don't get bummed out that it doesn't exist anymore because it is going to be part of his permanent collection. So just stay tuned on his website for that, which I will put down in the description box below. This color right here is more of like a... I don't really know how to describe it, like a nudie pink. I feel like if Celebrity Skin like accidentally bumped into pink, it would be this. I really, really like this color. This is the only one in the holiday collection that really caught my eye. I was like, oh, I love that. So I had to have it. This one does have that very, very strong scent to it. If you own this one, you know what I'm talking about, but I can't like describe what it smells like, but it's very interesting. So this is what Androgyny looks like on the lips. It is a absolutely beautiful, nude, dark pink color. I absolutely love it. This would be a really good color to wear for the holidays, I feel like. It's just a very festive, very, very elegant, very classy color. So the next three colors that I'm going to be showing you are more on the dramatic side. So for those of my viewers who like the very dramatic, very out there lip colors, this last part of the video is going to be for you. But let's hopefully I can get through it without tearing my lips off, shall we? So the next color I'm going to be swatching is another one of my all-time favorites, and that is this one right here. And this is in the color Unicorn Blood. It is a very dark, very deep blood red color, and it's absolutely gorgeous and very, very flattering. I love this one. If you're looking for more of like a bright, true red, I would go with red rum by Jeffree Star but if you're in but if you're more of the person who's into more of like the deeper blood red colors this is an absolute perfect option for you so I'm going to be swatching unicorn blood Okay, and then this is what Unicorn Blood looks like swatched on the lips. As you can tell, like I said, it is a very dark, deep red color, which is what I personally like to wear, opposed to more of like the brighter reds, but that's just me. I do like my bright reds, but I don't wear them as often as I do with my dark, deep reds. So yeah, this is what this one looks like on the lips. Sorry for the crappy swatch job. I just get super nervous with like these more dramatic colors swatching them on the lips because it's like... You know, you have to be like extra careful not to fuck up because if you do, you're just going to have, 
you're just going to be able to see your mistakes everywhere. So yeah, I really, really like this one. Again, this is one of those colors that I think personally would be really great on multiple skin tones, not just, you know, light or dark. Like anyone can wear this color because it is such a deep red that it just goes good with everyone. Okay, moving on to the second to last color, and that is this one right here. Again, one of my all-time favorites. I did do a makeup look using this color. I will also have that linked up in the corner if you are curious to see it. It is one of my most viewed makeup videos, so it makes me pretty proud. And that is on this blue-purple mix, just really deep, dark, navy kind of color, and this is in the color Abused. I remember when this shade was revealed to the public, and I know a lot of people had a shit fit over the name because they didn't like the name Abused, which I don't fucking understand why like I don't know why people freak out over the dumbest things but I personally love the name love the color and again this is one of my all-time favorites I mean I love all of them so it's kind of hard to pick like a direct favorite Right? And then this is what Abused looks like swatched on the lips. It's just an absolutely amazing color. Obviously not an everyday color. I mean, unless you are into that sort of thing, then this would be a great color. And another thing I really like about it is despite what you think, this color is actually extremely flattering on dark and very light skin tones. I've seen pictures of both wearing it and it looks amazing. Just a really, really nice color. And this would be great for like Halloween or if you're feeling more of like a dramatic kind of makeup mood, love this color. Okay, and moving on to the very last lip swatch for this video is going to be my newest one added to my collection, and this is part of his permanent line, and this is in the color Dominatrix. This is just a really true, beautiful chocolate brown shade, and a lot of people always seem to have trouble finding a perfect brown, whether it's too like a red brown or too purpley brown. No one can just seem to find a plain brown lipstick. Well, if you're having one of the, if you're one of those people who is having trouble finding that, you will find it in Dominatrix because it is a true beautiful chocolate brown shade. And I have worn this in one video before and I actually really liked it. Like I will probably be wearing this a lot more in my videos just because it's just a really nice color. I love it. So here is what Dominatrix is looks like on the lips. Okay guys, and here is what the final shade Dominatrix looks like swatched on the lips. As you can very obviously see, it is a very dark, very true brown liquid lipstick. I love, love this color. I'm so glad I got it. It's always fun to go out on a whim and try dramatic colors that you wouldn't normally wear and end up loving them. So really, really happy with all of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I love them so much. They are some of my all-time favorite lipsticks. If I had to give up the rest of my lipsticks for these guys, I totally would. I love them that much. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have today for my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick Swatch video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a huge, huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I love these lipsticks. I could not say it enough. Thank the Lord for Jeffree Star. He is, like I said in the beginning, pure genius. I cannot wait to see what he's going to come out with in 2016. Totally looking forward to it. So yeah, that is everything that I have for today. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you all. Bye!